All right, we're gonna start out by laying down this fire orange thread, which at the end will cause a nice little hot spot collar to tie this pheasant tail. So we'll grab a few pheasant tail feathers here for the tail, and we're gonna wanna make the tail about the same length of the shank. So I just use a pinch technique and put this right on. And then I'm gonna bring my thread forward and create a little body. Um, but before I do that, I'll just put this wire on and as I bring this forward, I just like to try and create a little tapered body. So I'll go up and down and get that just right. And as I bring this forward, I'm gonna stop at about the 75% mark and wrap this pheasant tail forward. Do about six to seven wraps as you come forward. Uh, make sure you do one right after the next. And then, then we're gonna just tie this off right here and try and get it to as close to on top as possible. Now, when you're wrapping the wire up, it's really important that you wrap the opposite way than what you did with the pheasant tail feathers. What that does is it locks down each pheasant tail fiber. They can be a little bit delicate, but if you do this, then you won't have any problems. So we'll just get this tied down and snipped off. Now we're gonna bring the pheasant tail feathers backwards, and what that does is it allows us to loop it back up and forward to create a wing case. So for the thorax, we're gonna use uh, peacock feathers. Um, just gonna use two of those and tie those on and then we'll wrap those forward about seven or eight times to create a nice shiny green thorax. So we'll just keep bringing these forward. Sometimes they slip forward a little bit. Don't worry about it, just kinda get them on there until you like it. Now we're just gonna tie these off right here and then give them a little snip. So now for the legs, I'm gonna use Hungarian partridge, but if you don't have Hungarian partridge, you can always just wrap these pheasant tails over for the thorax and then just bring a few fibers to each side for the legs. But I really like using the Hungarian partridge. It's got really nice mottled color and it really likes to pop with this pheasant tail. So I'll just snip these off right here. Okay, now we're gonna bring forward these pheasant tail ends just to create a nice little thorax right on top and then you'll see how this orange thread gives a nice collar that gives it a little pop and I always like to have just a little hot spot on a lot of my flies and just the trout really seem to like it so I'm just snip this off and here's a little gold or actually silver bead head pheasant tail